We're gonna wash our leaves. We're gonna get both sides. Make sure to scrub on them a little bit. Ask mom or dad for help. You're gonna wanna make sure all the leaves that you picked get washed. Because you don't know if they're little animals or if there's dirt. So if you want to use gloves when you're picking, that's fine too. And then you're gonna let them all dry. A hedgehog. We're gonna start by drawing the face. Because the face will help us understand it is a hedgehog. You're mainly gonna draw a triangle, but instead of a straight line, it's gonna have a curved line right there. A curved line in, that's like the snout. And you're gonna draw a little circle to show its little nose. You could draw a little happy face if he's happy. And you're gonna draw little specks to show where his whiskers would be. I am gonna add a googly eye, but you could always choose to draw just a little eye right there. Be able to find a tiny little eyeball that I'm gonna stick right there. So I'm gonna open my glue oh, with the brownie glue, so it's tough. There we go. Put my eyeball, I'm only gonna use one eyeball to show a profile look. And I'm gonna stick it on. What are we gonna do? We're gonna count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's all 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Amazing! And stuck. Okay, now we're gonna start doing the body. I'm gonna use my thinnest leaves, which just happen to be these from the pomegranate tree bush. It's a bush or a tree. So it's nice, long, and thin which will be helpful. We're gonna build around in a circle-like shape. You could use a pencil to outline where you're gonna wanna put these inside. And then we're gonna glue them on. It looks very funny right now because there's nothing in it. There's no feet, there's no tail, there's nothing. But trust me, it'll, it'll come together. Cause you won't be able to see that when I start putting all the little spikes of the hedgehog on. So what I'm gonna do for my first layer is I'm gonna go around and put glue on the paper, directly on the paper. And I'm going to start sticking these on. I'm gonna wanna start from the back and layer them as I go. If they don't seem like they're gonna stick on, you could always use the glue. Put some glue directly on the leaf and stick that on. Again, counting the 20 will be very, very helpful. It gives the glue some time to dry. If you don't have thin leaves like my pomegranate tree, you can always choose to get a bigger leaf and just cut it into strips. That's what the scissors are for. If you want nice straight lines when you're cutting, that's what you'll need scissors for. If you're okay with just tearing up the leaf, then you feel free to use your hands and just pull it apart. Make it into some string cheese. Each hedgehog will have about 5,000 little Spikes on its back. Your hedgehog does not need to have 5,000 little leaves. Cause that would probably not fit on the paper. You might wanna ha wash your hands a couple times throughout the project because the glue will get your hands sticky and if your hands are sticky, the leaf won't let go of your fingers and then it won't stick onto the paper. So you wanna make sure your hands are nice, clean, dry, cause if not you'll get leaves falling off the paper. Oh, like that. 
And even though I added a Google Eye, so you could see the hedgehog a lot better, hedgehogs actually don't have that much of a great eyesight. Instead, they use their other senses, like touch, smell, hearing, to get around. I'm also gonna add some little feetsies to the bottom. And I'm also gonna add a little ear right here. And there you go. And that's our first little animal, our little hedgehog. On the back is my little card saying, sending hedgehogs. There you go. I'm again gonna use my thin marker. Again, use a pencil, that way you could erase. And I'm gonna draw the shape of the butterfly that we're gonna make. Just a line. I'm gonna draw my wings very, 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 very tiny just so I know where they're gonna start being made. Just like that. Just like a little heart shape. Does not need to be perfect by any means. Make it little tiny because I'm going to build on that shape. It looks like two hearts. One normal heart and one upside down heart. I'm gonna build on this shape so you won't be able to see any of that. So it does not have to be perfect at all. So basically if you have like a rose bush or any kind of flower bush, I am going to use those petals, and the petals, and the leaves that came on that one. Again, I'm going to add glue directly onto the paper. I'm gonna hold it. So it stays. You see the shape of the flower petal has a little pool-like shape inside, right there. So it'll be easier to put the back side of the flower petal that has a little hump like a camel onto the paper. It's more likely to stay. Right there. So I'm going to put glue on the other side. Put my flower petal down. That also might mean I don't have enough glue on my paper if it happens a lot. You don't need a lot of glue. You do need a lot of patience. So that means we have to hold it and count to 20. So it's more likely to stay. And wash your hands, because if you have glue on your fingers, the petal's not gonna wanna leave your hands. It's gonna love your hands. It's gonna wanna stay with you forever. But we don't want that. We wanna make our butterfly. You can always choose to put glue directly onto the petal. But you need to be very careful with the petal. Because if you go too hard and you brush too forcefully, you might rip the petal. And if a petal isn't working, that's fine. Pluck it out. We can use one of the other petals instead. Maybe that petal is just not ready to be an art. Like how this side came out, so I decided to pull one of the petals off to also do this kind of layered effect. 
like that. I'm going to add Before gluing it, you might want to play around, see if you even want another petal there. Do you want to go out? Do you want to go full? I'm going to choose to go an extra layer out here. So I'm going to add six more petals. Gently lift it. You don't want to put glue on the entire back of the petal because if you add glue on the entire back of the petal and you see this lovely little lift won't be there. It'll stay stuck down there. And if that's what you're going for, that's great. But Miss Brittany wanted to be able to see these nice little petals curve how they usually look on the flower. while I'm letting this wait, I am going to glue one of my tiny leaves onto a bigger leaf. I'm going on like that. So I'm gonna put some glue onto the leaf. Then I'm going to pinch it a little bit. Nice and soft, because the harder you pinch it, you might destroy the shape, or you might punch through it by accident. I'm gonna do that twice. So we did that one time, now it's the other time. Like that. Pressing all around it so the glue can be evenly distributed, hopefully. There we go. We're gonna wait for that to dry a little bit and we're gonna stick it onto our paper. 